Hey Kevin here, Skylabs bringing you another video. Should be a fun one. I want to start doing a series of maintenance you can do for your vintage electronics. Just of some of the things we seem to be doing around here quite a bit, whether it's maintenance for speakers, turntables, or receivers. In this case, I'm going to show you what we do for a wood cabinet that just needs a little bit of touch up. So let's get into it. I'm gonna show you how we use these two products, mainly uh, Wood Restorer. I usually have Walnut and a couple of other finishes, but most of the time I just use the Walnut. And then the Howard Feed and Wax. This stuff is incredible. I really like it. Um, a lot of times if we get a cabinet in that doesn't have a lot of issues or watermarks or rings or stuff like that, I'll literally just clean the cabinet and put this stuff on it. Um, I only pull out uh, the the restore finish if it's got rings or if it's got faded spots and I'm just trying to even it out I'll take it to the next step and uh, use the restore finish I actually use this stuff for a long time before I even bothered to read the label because that's how I do things a lot of times it says on here apply with a small pad of cloth uh, for severe scratches apply with super fine four aught steel wool and uh, this really works good the one thing you do want to make sure is you always want to use the steel wool with the grain so if you see the grain going in one direction don't go against it because you'll end up with scratches in your finish so definitely don't do that the other thing is you don't want to pour this stuff on i just take it and i put it into the steel wool and then i apply it that way um, so and another thing wear gloves this stuff stains your hands pretty good so I'm going to put on my gloves. It doesn't say anything about shaking. And I just took a old t-shirt and cut a little bit off. But So I, I get my steel wool. Make sure it's 4 rot. You don't want to use anything super aggressive and overly scratch it. But I just go back and forth with the grain of the wood. like so spin it around just to get this last and that's really just about it you know let it sit what's it say uh, cover a small area at a time and wipe dry. For best results, wait at least 30 minutes, then reapply a coat of Howard's Feed and Wax to protect and maintain the restored finish. Um, I usually wait, like, uh, give it a couple minutes, I let it sit, and then I go back with the, uh, the clean cloth there and wipe off all the excess. So I'm going to put the lid on it. It's a little bit stinky. I mean, if you're really sensitive to... Uh, smells I don't know if this will give you a headache or anything I've never had any problems with it but I don't like using this when there are customers around because you can't smell it there's no question but it's not like a, it's not like lacquer or anything like that I'm just gonna give it a minute and then I'll, I'll come back and wipe this off so give me a minute all right so it's been a minute or so you can kind of see it's pooling up there a little bit and we just want to get all that off so i'm just going to start wiping off the same way i wiped on which would be back and forth going with the green just like that you just don't want it pooling up because it'll it'll show where it where there was extra sitting there um, but already major improvement we had a couple places where feet had been set on top of there maybe another smaller component or something and I don't see those anymore at all there's a little bit of a blonde spot back here but we're not gonna do surgery on this we're just trying to clean it up a little bit this stuff works really good on on speaker cabinets too anything that's got a real wood veneer you don't want to use this on a vinyl wrap you know like a, a pioneer 780 or something um, but if it's real wood 
and you can feel the grain in it, then might give it a shot. Maybe maybe start on the bottom just to see how it looks and how you do with it. Um, that way, if it does have a bad reaction, you're not ruining the top of your of your cabinet. But I'm used to using this stuff now, and I kind of I'm a risky guy, I guess. So now it says to let this sit for 30 minutes, and then we'll come back and we'll put a coat of the feed and wax on there. This is the orange oil uh, beeswax. You you put it on. What's the directions on this say? Yeah, yeah. I don't think you want to eat this stuff. Made in the USA. Paso Robles, California. I know I just butchered that. I'm sorry. But anyway, so we're gonna come back in a half hour. We're gonna put this on, and then um, we'll leave it on for 20 minutes, and then we'll wipe it off. So I'll be right back. All right, so we are back. Um, I let it go for a couple minutes, but I don't want to stick around the shop. <laughs> you should uh, you should wait though and follow the instructions. I'm just gonna put it on there because uh, I don't have any use for this cabinet, and I'm just gonna set it aside when I'm done anyway. But um, I'm gonna so I'm gonna put this on. I just squirt a little bit on. Uh, get a new piece of. Um, Get a new piece of cleaning cloth or t-shirt or whatever you're using and then you just kind of wipe this stuff on so i put a pretty good coat on it but it says to wait 20 minutes and then polish out with a, a dry cloth I'm not going to wait that long. I'm just going to do it. So your results will even be better than mine. But in my opinion, this looks a hundred times better than what it did when we started. It looks really good. I'd be very happy with that. With just a couple products, uh, you can pick up almost anywhere. Uh, appreciate you watching. Have a good one. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.